Oh yeah, sexy biscuits. Nice. Long black clothes, 3 on the Amstrad CPC because this is a thing um, obviously based on the movie of the same name released in 1985 starring Charles Bronson because it says on the box art for this you are Bronson in Death Wish 3 which is the last of the Death Wish movies to be directed by Michael Winner because the first two were absolutely badass Th the third not so much and then anything said about the ones after that the less the better but uh, I played this on the ZX Spectrum and this is clearly not a port of it, but it's very reminiscent in the sense that, you know, it's extremely well animated and yeah, uh, the, the screen layout is the same. Bottom right hand corner is my Kevlar vest, which I believe represents my health. To the left of that is a map where red objects will appear, um, show me where the enemy are, and to the left of that, because apparently I carry a fax machine on myself, because of course I do, telling me where um, the riots are taking place, because I have no idea why the hookers are flashing their underwear at you, or what it does in the game, but that's essentially who they are and what they're doing. Look, it's the old Bill. You won't see him very often in this game. To be fair, you don't see him very often in real life. Boom! Sorry. <laughs> anyway, so this was released for the Spectrum, the Amstrad, the Commodore, uh, and the MSX, which probably is a port of the Spectrum, by Gremlin Graphics in 1989. And I remember it got so, so reviews. And I honestly can't recall if it caused a big stink or anything like that. Because, you you know, why is a movie this violent, granted a bad death wish movie, being released on machines that are aimed primarily at kids, played primarily at kids, uh, by kids, I should say. But, yeah, Death Wish 3 is a thing and I completely forgot about it I've played it on the Spectrum as I said I have a video but when I was scrolling through the list of games on my Super Console X I saw it and I thought I'd give it a go it's a free roaming game I got no idea what you gotta do other than kill gangs so I'm just gonna blow shit up <laughs> and yeah enjoy the sights fire right there I am right up so oh fire I've got a rocket launcher, which you can see underneath the map, and you can see all the dots on it. Oh yeah, people come along and clear up your uh, your meat chunks, if you will. We have sound effects, and we have music at the same time. Right, so, why is my score in the negative? No, it's in the plus. So, uh, so you can shoot innocents. You can shoot civvies. Good to know. Was that civvy? I don't know. Right, oh, they're, they're, they're beating me up, and they're killing civilians, so... So, yeah, I would say it's more style over substance. Oh, shit. You saw that? You got in my way. What do they do? Where's my health? I'm not... It doesn't look like I've taken any damage. I've only got 15 rounds left in my rocket launcher. I'm going to press some keys. And it would appear that... I've paused the game. And I've unpaused it. And I have no idea what that does. But I can't change my weapons. And traversing the map is a tad clunky. Oi! Do the bad guys just come continuously? I mean, where, how do I stop riots? They're everywhere. I'm just one man, damn it. Right, so let's keep moving. There are other guns. There's definitely a shotgun, I remember that. And there's a machine gun where you can literally keep them in the air, even though they're dead, suspended, uh, with a hair of your magic lead. See, am I even achieving something? If I press down, if I press, that's interesting. I'm oh, sorry, old Bill, if I press down, right, watch. Is it the same street and I'm facing the other direction? It's, I don't know, I'm sure, shit. Uh, why are the old Bill not turned on me? I've killed enough of them, but what's that? I wasn't saying that to the bad guys so I could, you know, distract them and shoot them. I've got a shotgun. It's got music there. It's not bad. Oh, that was nice. 
He's got a shotgun as well. These mysterious people in white. You can't kill them. Keeping the streets clean. And obviously that's a hooker. Wait, is he shooting me? No, he's not. So we're going up cure. Right, there's nothing on my fax machine. It's probably because it's not plugged in, because portable fax machines didn't exist at this time, or mobile phones. So there you go. Right, I can go in the house. I'm in, no. I've got a handgun. Why am I so excited? I'm just... Oh yeah, the old ladies attack them, don't they? Listen to how jolly the tune is. Considering the sheer amount of death is going on. Oh yeah, look at this. Alright. Alright, but how do I get more ammunition? How do I go in a house? Where's the bird this fella came from? It's very... What the fuck am I doing? Isn't it? I'm pressing space. Space is fire. There must be a way. What? I can't... If I can't pick up more enemy ammunition, you've just made the most broken fucking game on the planet. Ah! I'm pretty sure you can go in houses. Right, are the keys doing anything? I'm just getting pummeled. And you just press random directions and it doesn't take you anywhere new. Or maybe it does. I don't know. It just seems to be changing the colour. This was a stupid idea for a game. Hey, is that someone I've already shot? Here's one I prepared earlier. Points for the quote. They shoot at me. Look, look at my vest. My vest is taking uh, is taking hits now because of course it is. Hey, I'm just staying with the old Bill. They know what they're doing. I'll stay in the middle of them. Oh shit! How do you? If anyone knows how I pick up weapons, please let me know. Or where they are would also be quite helpful because, yeah. Also, I can take a supreme amount of damage, I swear. Enter! Gun! It's not a gun! Enter then, goes in buildings. I'm in a house, it's nicely furnished. He doesn't seem to want to be moving with the same urgency that he was just now. Right, that's outside, isn't it? Yes. Then do I press enter on that, whatever that is? Drugs? No, because shit's on the floor to pick it up, isn't it? I've got no fucking clue what's going on. So there must be weapons, maybe even health, in one of these houses. This is the stupidest design game ever. I know it's only an 8-bit game, but come on. I think it's 1987 as well. I'm pretty sure it's the same year as the original Renegade. See, listen to how jolly and upbeat it is, even though I'm about to die. Well, having said that, I've taken an absolute massive kick in. Piss off. Yeah, i got no Scooby what I'm doing, but you know what? Kill me so I can have one more quick go at running around. Right, back in the, Is this the house that I was just in? Killing people. I think this is the house I was just in. Yeah. Why is your TV on the floor? I'm sure that fax machine did something, like tell you where the riots were. Right, so if I press down, down, down. Look, they killed Doc Brown. Radiation suit, look at that. So where am I even going? How do you even traverse it? The map obviously means something. By all means, let me know. But where am I on it? Right, I'm going north because it's flashing north. So now I'm going east, then if I press up, I'm going north again, which achieved nothing. So I'm going to press down. Someone put me out of my misery already, and I don't mean the franchise, I mean me. 
Jesus. What's that? Right, well, obviously, I've seen something and I've picked it up, but I have no idea what it was. I'm down near fucking immortal. I know I probably could have read what you had to do and then done that, but where'd the fun in that be? But yeah, so I'm just going around in circles. For, for a so-called free-roaming game, it's not very large, is it? Right, up. And go north again, and then there's going to be a dead end. Oh, so that was a city then, you just look at. Oh, different house. But then you lean on the joypad, and then it moves, and then you're like, where am I? What's going on? I don't know. I'm scared. Hold me. Why are there hookers inside the house? Maybe they're not hookers. And I can't get out. But I'm out. Right. This Christ, this is this is bad guys fucking everywhere. I mean, is there a boss? Is there some reason for going in the houses? What's that? It's a chair. Okay. Why is that man sat at a table? Yoink. I don't know what's going on. Maybe I'm supposed to shoot him. Maybe he's like a mob bloke, like the leader or something. <clears throat> Pretty sure they're all mob blo blokes. What's over here? Oh, well, we're going back outside. <clears throat> that achieved nothing. I can't go outside. This game makes absolutely <clears throat> no sense whatsoever. And why are there so many doors that lead nowhere? I think that's the first wall I've come across. Is this a door? A special door? Magic door? Yes, I'm somewhere else in a house that I can't get out of and I can't die. What's going on? <clears throat> Arrest me! Is that two Johns in a room with a TV? I think it is. Injury! No, my in the, the bulletproof vest just shows that I've been shot, but my injury bar is underneath my score. I've just noticed that, and to the left of the map, and Christ alive, can I take a kick in? We're gonna have one more quick go, and then see if I can get to that house again. Apparently this is written by someone. Fucking hell. Uh, see if I can get to that house again and kill the bloke sat behind the chair and see if that does anything. Right, so. No, oh, run away, run away. I'm not going to shoot you unless I absolutely have to. I'm going to go and shoot. Right, well, hang on. I do like that, I'm not going to lie. As I said, this was called the goriest game uh, of all time on these machines back in the day. What was that and why couldn't I pick it up? And I shot the old bill, apologies, but let's be honest, you're not doing me any favours, so I'm not doing you any favours. So what? Get in a house, shoot! I'm making this up as I go along, I've got no fucking scooby what's going on. It doesn't help itself! I keep, don't mean to shoot him. I just panic because, you know, he's in front of me. Why can't I change weapons? Right. Look. So once your, your vest gets... Absolutely peppered, I've killed him. I've killed him. Have I achieved something? No. Is he a civilian? Probably. Do I care? Not so much. Yeah, once your vest gets absolutely peppered, then you start taking damage. I think. I don't honestly know. This game has no logic to it whatsoever. Or traversing the map. Oh, I shot an old lady. Don't get to say that very often, do you? Or oh, back in the day you didn't. I wonder how well this game did. I got a feeling my brother Jason had it on the spectrum, and we all pretty much are experiencing what I'm experiencing now, which is. I've got no fucking idea what's going on. Let's find a different house. 
Have I read this part of town? Of perps? Look. You're welcome, ladies. Enjoy yourselves. Enjoy yourself. Crime was a disease, and I am a cure. Even though that's a completely different fucking franchise. But look. Yeah. It's fun in the house. Is that because I shot the bloke? I sincerely doubt it. Again, I've got no fucking idea. Oh, I'm running now. What's going on? I look like Pierce Brosnan. Pierce Brosnan. <laughs> Charles Bronson. I have no idea where that came from. I want to shoot someone. I complained about there being too many people. Now there's no one. Right, but there are red dots. Are they in houses? Seriously, no idea. I'm inside. I'm going to suggest that I fix this part of town. Hell yeah. Get, get fucking Bronson on the case. No fucking wishy-washy liberal fucking lefty justice in this city. We just shoot the fuckers. Oh. He shot for me. If you can't collect ammunition, then this game is rendered utterly fucking pointless. Oh, crime's back. Just in case you forgot everyone, crime's back. It took a small break, but now it's back. Right, right in area northwest. See, what is what does it even what do you do, Basil? What does it even mean? Oh no, sorry, that's the good guys, or the, the cleanup squad. No! Right. I'm getting out of here. Oh, do I just... Literally, do I kill everyone? Oh, shit. And then, that's it. The area's clear. I don't know. Even if you read the instructions and you knew what was going on, I'm sure someone's going to correct me on this. Don't fucking shoot me. Um, it's just... It's just unintuitive fucking garbage to play. Think of the damage it did to the kids' minds back in the day. Look at me casually strolling. I shot the table. Does that mean I've done something? Because I shot the table last time, and then when I shot the table, all the bad guys went away. Nope, they're still char. Got a machine gun. Sorry, love. Right. Can't go out that door. Can't go out that door. <laughs> it's some of that in your life. Can't go out that door. Well, what door can I go out of? And let's start there. Oh, you shoot tables. That's what you do. See, this just press it up and down whenever you want and going anywhere. Like, just makes it. I've got no idea what I'm doing. It's like walking around the inside of the fucking TARDIS. And at least it gives us a decent amount of ammunition. Right, and we're outside. I got, I'm not going to lie, I got absolutely no Scooby whatsoever. What's going on? What I'm even doing? Who's doing what? Where I go? The purpose of the game? It's just a fucking mess. But it's a glorious, violent, over-the-top, stupid mess. I mean, soon that's what they thought would sell it, word of mouth. So yeah, there you go. Look at that. Cleaning up the streets. And now we're out. And I can't get any more, but I'll put my hands back in my pockets, because, you know, why not? Because I'm Charles Bronson, y'all. Yeah, uh, Death Wish 3 on the Amstrad CPC. I can't say it's good or bad, because I've got no fucking clue what I'm supposed to do. Anyways, always, I'd love to know what you think, especially if you played this back in the day, and you can give me some hint on what I should do, and maybe I'll pick it up on the MSX. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you later.